Hi, my name is Salim Khan. I work for Edwards Life Sciences in the Surgical Structural Heart Team with Adrian Carroll. Today we're at Warsaw Manor Hospital. This is where my children were born and this is where my story begins. When I was born into a and &E, speaking to the consultant at the time, she said I was about a minute away from respiratory failure, complete respiratory failure, before they put me on the ventilator. So, yeah, to come back from that, it's just, um, it's taken its time, but it's, it's, it's been a longer journey than I'd first expected, really. How did you feel when you came to, uh, came into ITU? Uh, to be fair, I was on, it was blue lights and I couldn't actually breathe. I didn't remember much after that until I woke up in ICU. Which must have been such an incredibly scary moment for you, obviously. I think a lot of the time is we forget that, you know, there's patients on the other end, there's feelings, there's families, and I think a lot of the time is, you know, we get so caught up in the moment, and especially during COVID, that's, that is definitely what happened with us. Yeah, I think what was sort of uh, different this time around was that, you know, we weren't allowed any visitors. Um, that, I guess, was difficult. And, and, and the fact that, you know, when I came in, you know, I think the trust was overwhelmed. There were that many other patients. So, you know, the fact that you took so much time, you know, myself as well as all the other patients, it was just an amazing experience in difficult conditions, really. Hi, Chantel. First of all, thank you so much for taking care of me while I was in ICU. We really, really appreciate that. You probably didn't know what role I was doing because we all had the same scrubs on and the same masks and we all looked the same, but I'm a healthcare assistant in RCU, so I help the nurses with everything from observations to taking bloods to repositioning patients and comforting relatives over the phone because obviously they couldn't visit at the time. And How are things now in Warsaw Manor? Um, a lot better. Um, obviously there's still restrictions on visiting because Covid's still here. Um, but things are a lot better. Um, so hopefully it stays that way because it was a bit crazy. The last time I was with Salim was in December 2019 with the whole of the team celebrating an amazing year on a big bus in London. Much has happened since then. In March, with the pandemic, we decided as a business we needed to do something to help customers and anything we could to help the NHS. And that's when I picked up the phone to Nick Walker, head of the business in Newbury, and Colin Hart, one of the directors of critical care in Europe. Between us, we came up with a big idea. We would host twice a week a boost cast to help people's confidence, clarity, and connectivity and with every view on social media a donation would be put towards the NHS. And in terms of this donation what does it mean to your unit in ICU? Well it's an overwhelming amount obviously and uh, we, we can't begin to say how grateful we are. Uh, predominantly we've got ideas that we wanted to go towards the um, rehabilitation aspect of, of patients uh, and this is their recovery when when they're recovering from a critical illness um, and it's how they how we get them back onto the path of getting towards normality for them uh, and we've got some ideas of, of how we want to spend it and we were quite excited by that prospect as well. It was wonderful for us standing back looking at that circle with them speaking to you in a circle it was very magical to to observe it must have been incredible to be it, it, it was and you know as I say for myself I think the big thing was being able to say thank you to them because this is really the first time I've met the team and the great thing is when I did call them you know and we talked about the charity uh, they all knew who I was so they I was probably one of the luckier ones to you know from ICU to be able to sort of go back home. It's amazing to see you looking really good and healthy and, you know Brilliant. it was a really hard time for us all but I think you know collectively as, as a unit we just we got through it um, and you know we've come out the other side and it's like I said it's really good to see you. I've sort of worked sort of for the last 20 years I've seen you know the great work that you all do uh, but just to sort of be a patient and see it from that side, it was just, I mean, for me, the, nothing was a surprise. You know, it's the high standards I always expected. Yeah. Uh, and I always knew that, you know, the doctors and nurses were capable of.